what is it that this business is focused on and what are the opportunities for flying taxis and logistics, air-based logistics in 2021 and going forward? Yeah, thank you. Um, Ihan is a, a urban mobility technology platform company and we pretty much focus on a, a great potential opportunity, urban air mobility. And uh, in terms of urban air mobility, it includes both the uh, air passenger transportation and uh, air logistic uh, uses. Okay, in terms of air passenger transportation, where are we in terms of getting broad-based acceptance amongst the public, but also regulators for people to be flying in unmanned, essentially giant drones? Yeah, um, so uh, uh, some people would think this could be a still uh, 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 things for the future, but uh, uh, from our perspective, it uh, will not be that far away uh, from now. And uh, uh, within our company, we have the plan uh, to roll out the, uh, we call it the urban air mobility operational services uh, within uh, uh, 2021. So uh, uh, we're based out in China. So uh, if you have a chance to come to China, uh, you probably can uh, experience this year uh, of this uh, new type of uh, services. Okay, how much progress have you made in expanding your services in China and internationally? Ah, um, because of the pandemic, where uh, for 2021, uh, we will continue to focus on the Chinese market, which is our home market. And uh, um, um, we're based out in Guangzhou cities in China. So if you come over to Guangzhou, uh, you can get a chance to experience sometimes uh, uh, later in this year. And internationally, uh, uh, the European market is our uh, uh, important international market. And we have a, a local operational team there. And hopefully, uh, as this uh, pandemic uh, will be stabilized, uh, we will increase our market activities there too. Okay, which will be your priority markets internationally beyond the markets that you already have a toehold in? Uh, so again, this, the, the European market. The, within, uh, within Europe, uh, we have a presence in Austria, in France, uh, in Spain. Uh, and and uh, those uh, three countries will be uh, our focus in, in, uh, locally in Europe. What are the key challenges around commercializing taxi robots or flying taxis? Mm. Uh, in terms of the challenges, uh, uh, I would say regulation would be a one, uh, one uh, challenge because uh, this is a new uh, technology. So new technology always will be a, a step ahead of uh, the regulation development. But uh, uh, luckily, uh, the uh, aviation uh, authority in major countries have all uh, realized these uh, potential market opportunities and have been put into a lot of effort. Uh, to de develop the, the relevant regulatory framework and standards uh, in order to push forward the development of this new uh, global industry. Talk to me about the logistics opportunity, because I know you have a partnership with DHL and Sinotrans, and you've started already drone deliveries. How do you plan to build that out and expand that, and what could it mean for profitability for the company going forward? Uh, okay. Uh, in terms of the logistic, uh, the cooperation uh, is mentioned between us and the DHL is, uh, is using our uh, medium-sized uh, uh, autonomous aerial vehicle for uh, uh, so-called uh, urban uh, automatic, urban last mile uh, delivery uh, services or applications. Uh, so both parties are working on that in order to uh, create a, a whole solution, a, a automatic solution. Uh, and, uh, which can be put into the real commercial uses. And right now we have been uh, 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 doing the, the trials uh, uses in one of the uh, DHS locations in, in Guangdong province. You also have a service around urban issues. So for example, firefighting, and you've developed a, you, an, an unmanned vehicle that can help with firefighting. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the additional services you're looking at building out in that particular space and what is the opportunity there? Yeah, um, particularly from last year uh, there was the pandemic so uh, the uh, governments in China from the central level and local level put more emphasis on emergency management and uh, emergency management includes specifically the, the firefighting uses 
uh, that's how our uh, fire fighting uh, version come into the market. And uh, it also include the uh, emergency transport uses. Uh, our flagship product, e to 16 can be a very good you know, area logistics solutions or, or uh, products uh, to be put into emergency transport in China. And uh, we have been implementing this type of uh, solution in selected locations with the local customers. Could you become, do you think, an M&A target for airlines? Have you had any conversations, any discussions with any of the big airlines? Uh, for that, I'm not quite sure. But uh, uh, for, for ourselves, we prefer to, you know, to continue to grow, to develop uh, ourselves. Okay, what is the time frame for when we're actually going to see regular unmanned passenger vehicles flying above our streets in cities, whether it's in China or in London or in Australia? When are we going to see that as a common sight? Um, from my perspective, because we're in China, uh, we're actually implementing it. Uh, uh, for example, we have been flying it in uh, roughly uh, 40 cities in China uh, already. And uh, uh, in terms of the regulations, uh, as we put in our recent earning release, uh, we expect it, we expect that uh, you know uh, the permit could be or uh, for our flagship product, uh, Ehang to sixteen, we could uh, obtain the, the relevant permit as early as this year. So after uh, the obtaining the, the relevant permit, so you probably can see there will be a, a infection point for uh, for the growth of the company going forward. Okay, an inflection point for the growth of the company. Again, in terms of when we can see this as a common site, is it two years down the line, five years down the line before we I think, can see these commonly used? Yeah, I think within like three year time frame. Three year time frame. Okay, right. what about profitability for the company? Are your investors putting pressure on you or do you have runway to continue investing in this business? Um, well, what we have been experiencing or got the feedback from uh, uh, investors, uh, um, a typical uh, uh, comment is uh, they're not really uh, focused on the profitability of our company, rather focus on the growth of the company because this is a new technology, new area uh, facing a potential huge market opportunities. And uh, for ourselves, um, we, we will continue you know, to strive to achieve profitability of the company because this is the, you know, the, the core consideration of a you know, commercial business. So otherwise, you know, the, there is no sense to really have a commercial business. So um, we hope for, hopefully we could uh, achieve a profitability uh, within the one year or two.